How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the JQ J100 Pro headset. I might be mispronouncing the brand. I, to be honest, didn't know how to pronounce this, but yeah, these guys. This is around a $50 headset that's universal, so you guys could use this on your PC or your console. So before we unbox it, we got to look at some of the specifications. So it has 50 millimeter speaker drivers. It has soft leather ear pads, noise canceling mic, and then 7.1 surround sound. Also something that is worth noting, it does have a detachable mic. So if you guys just want to use these for music on like the airplane or something, that would do. All right, then back here is just a picture of what you guys are going to see when I open it. So without any further ado, is that, that's probably a bad idea. All right, so, yep. All right guys, so here's the headset. Right off the bat, looks like that's the mic. I almost cut myself when I dropped this earlier, which hopefully you guys didn't see. Wow, okay. First impressions, these are a lot heavier than the ones that I've had before, and I already feel some metal. So these these feel nice. Um, we'll be we'll be taking a closer look at the headset in a minute. Let's get this box finished with. All right, so we have the mic right here. Then under this, you guys have some more goodies. All right, so here's a cable that connects it to either your PC or your console controller instructions, and I'm sure probably like some warranty maybe might be involved with this. And it does come with like a little carrying case, so that's a nice touch. It's a, a nice size bag, so they will fit. Oops. Yeah, it does come with a six month product warranty and lifetime technical support. All right, let's uh, open up this bag, see what's in here real fast. It does come with a pop filter. So just put that on there right now. The people don't need to hear you heavy breathing while you're trying hard at Call of Duty. It does come with a threaded cable here. So basically you guys could just use it with this or you guys, if you're doing PC, and you want some more controls, you guys can use the USB to plug it straight into your PC. It is a really long cable. It's all Velcroed up. That's why it looks short, but it is long. All right, we gotta try these on. I'm honestly way more excited than I thought I would be. Ooh, that is a really nice seal. Like even uh, without any noise cancellation right now, it blocks a lot of the sound in just because it actually is getting a good like seal in my head versus sometimes your headphones just do that. These actually kind of wrap around and cup your ear very well. Really impressed right off the bat. Like these are more comfortable than some of my other headphones. So here are some of my other headphones. These are just normal ones. They don't get the same seal that these get on your ears. Just for example, I mean, you could see all around there. Putting these on, I immediately hear more noise already and it just doesn't cup my ear as well. These have a pretty big inside. So even if you have some big ears, they'll fit in here. They put plastic on some of the nicer plastics here. These are really pretty. So the actual headphones, this is metal, which I think gives it a nice feel. This is kind of like a soft touch plastic with a glossy black here where that plastic was. You have some faux leather right here on the inside, tells you left and then right. The upper cushion's pretty nice too. And then you got their logo right there. It's not too flashy. They don't like just smash their logo everywhere. It's just like a little simple version and it doesn't look bad. Right here, you can tell that that's the right side, that's the left side. Very simple looking. I love that you can take this mic off. So if you guys need to use the mic, and we will have a sound test with this in a minute, just plug it straight in. Once it's in, it seals up pretty well there. Now, you guys have a gaming headset. So I need to plug this into my PC to give you a sound test. I'll cut to that right now. So here's a quick test with this headset. This is without the pop filter. Now let's put the pop filter back on. All right, so now I put the pop filter on and hopefully you guys can get a nice little sample from this audio clip. All right, and then if you guys are done gaming, just fold it, bend it out of the way or just pull it out. Yeah, bang. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this into here. It does have like a little clip here. So if you guys wanna like clip it to your shirt so it's not pulling on you, you could do that. By the time you plug this cable in with the audio cable, this is a really long cable, which is what you want for a gaming headset. All right guys, so now we are gonna head into the audio test of this. So we're gonna see just how nice these sound. I love it when that happens. I plugged them straight in the USB, worked immediately. Ooh, these sound good. All right, quick note, this does light up. So if you guys wanna use the surround sound, just press that. But if you're listening to music, you probably don't need that. All right, so here on the controller, this side is volume for your headset, and then this side is for your microphone. So if your friends are saying that you're way too loud, then just turn it down there. But whenever you guys are hooked up to a PC with USB, this controls the volume for your PC. All right, for $50, just as like a headset, 
These are really nice. You guys don't even have to use these for gaming. Like even if you're just an editor or you're sitting on Discord calls, very nice and comfortable. Quick little comparison. These are like a $30 option that you can get. The mic doesn't come off and the fitment is the what I don't like. Like it just feels very rigid and not comfortable. There's more pressure up here and it doesn't cup your ears. Like I have a gap right here and that's what you don't want. These are almost pure plastic too. And this headset was still $30. So you guys are spending maybe $20 more, which isn't even as much as some of the bigger brands out there. And you guys are getting something that is really nice quality. I've had Turtle Beaches in the past and the fitment on these is way better. So a quick little comparison between the two. These are all plastic and then these have a lot of metal, nice materials and they just look nicer. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked these out already, I have an Amazon affiliate link down below. It helps support the channel and doesn't cost you any extra to buy these. I definitely check them out. They have a really nice build quality and the music sounds really good. And they didn't just go crazy on the bass. Some of these headsets, they just max out the bass to try and make people like me happy. But we're starting to figure out that there's more to life than just bass. When you guys are listening to music or like audio recordings on these, it sounds really crisp. It has a really good range and frequency. I would say it's not too much bass, not too much treble. It's somewhere right in the middle. So yeah, that is my review on the J100 Pro headset. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button. I'll see you guys on the next one.